I really like your shirt today. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here from the Retro Future. I have in front of me a box, and the box is from Sendico.com. However, this video is not sponsored by Sendico. It's sponsored by iFixit. Inside this box is two very, very good, at least I hope, condition Game Boy Pockets. Obviously these ones are Japanese. Now I don't really own anything in mint condition. I often buy things that are very dirty and then I fix them up myself. Not only does that mean you get it for a cheaper price typically, but you also then get something that you have done a lot of work to and you can be proud about. So in this video, we're gonna be unboxing and potentially opening up two very mint condition Game Boy Pockets and seeing what they're like inside and the whole unboxing experience of essentially a brand new Game Boy. So let's take a look. So I'll put the price up of how much I paid for these on the screen. I paid for an exceptionally um, expensive shipping um, cost just because I'm incredibly impatient and obviously you know, I'm not really doing this as like a, as a business to make money on these, so I'm okay with paying a bit of money for some convenience. Uh, but there is obviously far cheaper shipping options available. There we go. So, I really like Sendico's packaging. Look, they've uh, obviously taken, you know, a lot of consideration to the packaging that they've used here, because that means that, you know, if you're slicing, you've got this nice big bit of protection here. So yeah, here they are. Very, very cool. Um, I'm a little bit nervous, actually, because if these aren't in as good condition as I hope, I'll be quite sad. I mean, I'll still be happy, you know, because I like Game Boys, but I really bought this because I was hoping that these were going to be like mint condition, you know, never used before. So let's see. Here is the purple one. Very well packaged. I just don't really like sellotape on my Game Boys because... I don't want to have to cut it with a knife. Oh my goodness. I feel like I should be wearing gloves. Look at the condition of that Game Boy. I'm sorry, but that is brand new. That ha This has never been opened before or played on. I can tell you that for a fact. Look at the quality of that. Let's open it up and take a look inside. Look, you can see as well, the cardboard hasn't even been folded back, like it's actually resisting um, me pushing that back there. So, and nor have these flaps really. So I'm gonna be really, really careful here with taking this stuff out. Ooh. Okay. So you get all these really nice little manuals. That's cool, I've never seen that one before. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then you have the Game Boy itself which almost looks like it's been shrink wrapped, but it hasn't. The bag's just obviously formed on it because of the weight of this um, on the top. So there you go, you get a little cardboard protective piece there, and then you have the Game Boy itself. Now this is the atomic purple um, Game Boy Pocket. And uh, yeah, I mean, <sighs> this is exceptionally exciting for me. I'm basically experiencing what someone would have experienced back in the day. Look at the quality of that screen lens. That that has not received a single fingerprint or a scratch or there's not even any dust on it. There is a little bit now because of my room, but yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. The stickers on the back as well, obviously immaculate. Not a single scratch up here where a cartridge has been in. Not a drop of corrosion or acid in the uh, the battery terminal, so wowza. Okay, let's take a quick look at the leaflets that are included. So, one thing we definitely should do is check that the serial numbers match up. Yes, look at that, M1338161. And we also have some sort of a stamp there. I wonder what that is. Maybe someone can uh, translate that on the screen and let me know, it's probably I don't know what that could be. Maybe it's the shop that sold this, potentially. I don't know, that's interesting. Um, and we've got a date on the bottom of it there as well. Um, again, I can't really read that. Um, 10, 1, 25, so maybe that's not how that works. I don't know. Um, but then we've got some warning signs and stuff here. We've got, don't put the Game Boy in your pocket. Wait a minute. Don't put the Game Boy in your back pocket, presumably that's what that means. You've got a headphone, additional accessory and stuff. Um, don't have it too loud. If it's smoking, don't eat it. 
Don't drive and play Game Boy Pocket. Don't put the Game Boy cartridge in whilst it's on. <laughs> and don't open it. Well, I can't promise that. Uh, the manual is pretty similar, I think. It just shows all the accessories and stuff like that. That's really, really cool. Then we've got some sort of a battery warning thing here because this would have had some batteries in it as well, but fortunately, those have been removed. I hope that's the same with the red one. Um, and here's that tiny little Game Boy leaflet. So we've got some nice little pictures here. So you show the charger and the link port, link cable thing, which I've actually got right here. Here's the uh, the link cable thing, and there's the um, battery pack additional thingy majiggy. Uh, it won't work with the Game Boy power adapter. That's cool. And then on the back, oh look, we've got a big red Game Boy Pocket picture. That's kind of nice. And then a bunch of different colors on the back. So there's actually the gray one. Let's uh, move on to the red one. Okay, so here comes the red one. Wow. Oh no. No. Wait, let's just check it's not the same on this one. Oh no, this one's got some battery leak on the bottom of it. I didn't see that in the listing. Let me uh, put up a photo of the listing on the screen and the photos that I saw, because maybe I missed that. That is kind of disappointing. I mean, uh, not, not a lot I can do, but yeah, that's kind of a bit of a shame. Maybe, maybe that was, um, you know, there was loads of clear photos of that, but I didn't see that. Yeah, this one's definitely not in as good condition. You can see the um, cardboard sort of frayed up at the top here. And yeah, that is caused by potentially the batteries inside. So there may be some more damage to find. Although the batteries are on this side. So maybe that's not caused by that. We'll find out. Let's have a look inside this one. Okay, again, the cardboard all feels really nice and rigid. Batteries have not... Well, they have been removed. Um, there's all the exact same stuff, except this time we've got the gray Game Boy being promoted. In fact, this one's a little bit different. So we've got the green, the yellow, the black, the red, and the uh, the gray one. Uh, same stuff inside and similar stuff. It's just a tiny bit different. Um, same manuals, little piece of cardboard. No stamp on this manual, interestingly. So maybe it was from a different um, company. But yeah, you can see inside there, it's not had any acid leak and whatever is on the bottom has not really come through into here a tiny bit. So I don't know what that is, but I would say that this is still in a, in mint condition. It's just a bit of a shame about that um, paint that's been uh, removed there. But yeah, here we go. So this one has, I can tell this one's been used a little bit more, but we've got the same serial number on the back of the manual and on the Game Boy. And if we take a look at this, it's still mint condition, you know, like look at the, uh, Look at the screen lens, that's incredible. And then on the back, you can just see there's a tiny bit more wear to the sticker there and some creases on the on the back and stuff, but it really doesn't look like it's been played at all. Um, but I think we can all agree, if we're gonna open one, it's gonna be this one. So let us do that. Now I'm sure some people are gonna be absolutely cringing right now at the idea of me opening this Game Boy, but you have to believe me, I have opened so many of these at this point, tens if not hundreds of these Game Boys. So I am very familiar with these Game Boys and there's nothing that is gonna go wrong. So here is the uh, iFixit toolkit that I was sent. Let us take a look at it. So this is the Pro Toolkit. And if you wanna see a more in-depth review on this, I'll put up a little card in the corner, in this corner, um, and you can go and check that out. But essentially this is a, an everything you will need toolkit. But they do actually have, you know, just this part, for example, which may be more useful for us taking Game Boys and stuff apart, but there is all of these, you know, pry tools and there's a, a little static wrist strap and everything and suction cups and all these little spudges and tweezers. So I think if I was to be completely honest, I would recommend having a look at their website and checking out one of the screwdriver, just the screwdriver kits. Uh, they also sell just the handle, the aluminium handle for the grand total of $10, so you can get this incredibly nice um, aluminium handle with a really nice gnarled grip on there. Sort of looks anodized and it's got an incredibly smooth bearing in there. Um, so I really like that and I will continue to use that um, in the future, which is by no means a part of this sponsorship contract. I just really, really like the design of this and it's uh, very nice. So then these bits are exceptionally good and one of the reasons I like them so much Again, this is gonna sound so forced, but 
the length of the actual bit itself, the actual, um, you know, you obviously you've got this hexagonal part here which goes into the screwdriver, but then you have just exposed screwdriver, which is really, really good because sometimes when you take apart these Game Boys and you have the cheaper um, Chinese bits, um, the actual sort of flat part from the shape up here that goes into the screwdriver hits against the side of the Game Boy, which if you've got a painted aftermarket shell or one that's in really good condition, you don't want to be brushing up against that because that might scratch your Game Boy. So I really like that and they feel far higher quality than the ones, the Chinese ones that I'm used to. So I've got my little tri-wing bit on the end. Let us take a look inside. So there's six tri-wing screws around the outside. Included in the kit as well is this little magnetic mat, which is really nice actually. Um, I didn't think I was going to use it, but then I used it in a live stream and it's actually really helpful. So you can just whack the, uh, the screw on there and it will stay there. So that's a really nice little thing and you can just sort of, you know, segregate your screws into a corner and if you knock your table or whatever, which I often do being clumsy, um, your screws won't fly everywhere. Ta-da! Okay, can you see that little like piece of paper that's just sat there? That's kind of weird. Don't know where that's come from. Let's lift up the uh, the ribbon cable and we can take a look at the pads, the membranes as well, because obviously they're gonna be completely undamaged um, due to the fact that the buttons just won't have been pressed before because it's a brand new Game Boy. So that is gonna be a beautiful sight. It's like I've just refurbished it. <laughs> it's just all so pristine. There we go. So, there is the inside. Not a speck of dust on the speaker, but I can actually see that there is indentations and markings from the contacts on the actual PCB here. So you have uh, you know, two different um, pads, and then when you press down the button, this little black piece bridges that connection, and that's how you get the button press. But can you actually see the shimmer on there, the little bit of shininess, that is due to it being pressed. So potentially this isn't, you know, I mean the red one was obviously in slightly less good condition than the Atomic Purple one, but potentially this one has just been very well looked after and that's why it's in such good condition. So yeah, and this also, the red one is older than the purple one because this purple one has the LED indicator, whereas this red one does not have that. So that's actually kind of, a, uh, a sign that would obviously indicate that this is going to be in less good condition because it's older, but still it's been very well looked after. But yeah, I was expecting that to be in better condition, if I'm honest with you, but it's still very, very nice. And the fact that there was no dust on the speaker as well is really cool. So I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a flashback, unboxing Game Boys like it's 1996. If you did enjoy this video, please click subscribe. Check out iFixit because they sell exceptionally high quality tools. And if you don't believe me, check out their reviews from other massive YouTubers and stuff. So obviously I've received money from them um, and this video is sponsored by them, but they're a pedigree brand. It, it goes without me saying that I'm sure a lot of you have heard of iFixit before and they sell exceptionally good tools. So big thank you to them. Big thank you to you. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.